I'm Miss Tell It Like It Is. I hope everybody's out there doing great. I am doing wonderful. Today's topic is going to be, some people ask me, how do I do it? How do I be single and be happy? And baby, I tell them all the time, honey, less stress, no demands, no commands. <laughs> Because I have no man. <laughs> and just tell it like it is. Love it like that, baby. Because I'm a free bird. I'm a butterfly, baby. I am a free spirit. I am meant to spread my wings. Not to be caged in a cage. Like an animal. And I know y'all probably said, Wow, you have such a dark perception on relationships. No, not really. I mean, it's like, it's whoever you connect with you know but whoever you connect to you have to have that understanding that you're not going to try to change them and they're not going to try to change you and when you get that understanding and that person understands that you are going to be who you are then you get along better but it's when a person comes in your life and they try to change you they try to tell you what to do, how to do it, when to do it, why, because they said to do it, you know, and they want to make you a child. They, they don't want to be your man, they want to be your daddy. And baby, I will say it to any man, honey, I have already been raised, I don't need another daddy, okay? I don't need another daddy. So, you know, with me, Miss Teller, like it is, I have a strong personality. I think my yang side is more stronger than my yin. And the yin side is the feminine side. That's the left side. The yang side is the male side. I think Miss Teller, like it is, have more male characteristics than I do um, female. So... A lot of times, if I get a very controlling, dominant man, we bump heads right off. I mean, we don't see eye to eye because it's like, look at me, I look like a female, but on the inside, I'm all male, baby. <laughs> Psychologically, mentally. And then some people want to say, well, does that mean you're gay? No, Miss Tell Like It isn't. I'm not gay. I'm just a very strong minded woman that will never ever ever be ruled by any damn man okay <laughs> but you know like I said when you find that one that you are knitted with you they can meet you halfway mentally and you can meet them halfway mentally and they are on the same page they don't want no one controlling them they're their own man they realize you're your own woman then you can come into harmony and you can be one because you got that understanding but the issue is is when people meet people and that's men and women when they try to change a person from who they are you know you can't change nobody baby you can't raise a grown adult you can't raise somebody that's already been raised. And I miss that like it is been quick over the years to tell anybody, look, baby, if you want to raise somebody grown, baby, you got the wrong one. Baby, you better go get somebody way younger, a little baby in their early 20s, baby. Because miss that like it is, I'm a full-fledged grown woman. I'm all woman, baby. Ain't nothing little girl about me. So I've been accused of being manish i've been accused of being headstrong i've been accused of being hard-headed especially by really controlling and dominating men i've given some men a big headache in my life i mean really i really have some men just uh, they either scream or they leave me the hell alone and <laughs> oh and for their sake that's the best thing for them to do <laughs> Because Miss Teller, like it is, it's sweet, but baby, I don't play the radio. 
<laughs> I do not play the radio, honey. I'm very outspoken. That's why I got this name. Miss Tell It Like It Is. I tell it like it is. I keep it real, baby. You will not rule me, okay? No matter what kind of man you may be, okay? And when you come in my world trying to take my crown, baby, this is going to be a power struggle. You keep your crown as a king, baby, but you better let me keep mine as my queen. Because if you try to come over here and take my crown, baby, we're going to have issues. <laughs> And that's just the heaven God truth, baby. And sometimes, I don't know, sometimes it's still like it is. You know, I had a I had a a relative told me one time, they said everybody ain't meant for relationships. And you know, sometimes maybe that's me. Maybe that's me. Maybe maybe I'm not meant for no relationships because baby <laughs> It always starts off good, baby, and it always ends up ooh, psh, south, totally south, you know. But um, anyway, I hope everybody's out there doing good. Um, be your own person, baby. Be your own person. Don't don't try to please anybody, okay? And change who you are, cause uh, baby. Eventually, that's going to get old. And when you come out of your shell and you say, poof, here I am. They're going to be like, who the hell is that? Because every time Miss Tell Like It Is has tried to change her, well, I've tried to tone it down. I have tried to be more submissive. I've tried to be more, um, you know, yes, woman, every time I've tried that baby it only lasts for a season with miss telling like it is and then eventually it's like ah, i can't do this this is not me i can't do this baby i can't do this i'm trying to be somebody i'm not okay so you know when when people ask me they're like well, how do you how do you be single? Don't you get lonely? No, baby, I'm not lonely for bullshit. Okay, <laughs> I'm not lonely for control. I'm not lonely <clears throat> for having anybody in my life that tries to bring me down. Okay, if that's what being in a relationship is gonna be for Miss Taylor, like it is, I'd rather not ever have one. Okay. And that's the God heaven truth. I mean, a lot of y'all out there, y'all are like me. You're free butterflies. You know, you ain't meant to be controlled by anybody. You don't want to hear nobody telling you what to do. Shoot. <laughs> you know, you feel the same way I feel. When you when you grown, you don't want nobody dictating to you what you can wear and where you can go and who you can talk to and, you know... <clears throat> That gets old, baby, and how long you can stay somewhere. Come on, tell me, you, you grown people out there, men and women, you know, goodness where you don't want nobody like that, and you know that is totally 100% misery. And, you know, you may play that role in the beginning to kind of, like, try to please that person because you're really feeling them and liking them, but eventually you're going to be like, bump this crap. Look at here. This is who I really am, baby. And I am sick of your shit. I'm not having it, baby. You gonna see the real me and this the real me? Hell no nah to the no. Nah. And yes, I said it. Am I on drugs? No. Am I drunk? No. This is just the real me. That's why it's so important, you all out there. How you start off with a man or a woman make sure that's who you really are from the beginning because how you start off with them is that's how they expect you to be with them in the middle and the end you feel me if you are not cool with something from the beginning don't try to please that man or woman and bite your tongue because eventually you're going to get tired of biting your tongue and eventually the real you going to come out and i have really i've literally in one of my relationships, I bit my tongue in the beginning. 
And when I finally, you know, came out and got sick of some stuff, and I came out and said what I wanted to say, that person asked me, was I drunk? And I was like, no, I am sober as sober can be, baby. I'm sober. You just seeing the real me, baby. I'm sorry. I tried to please you, baby, but I should have stayed myself. It should have been about me from the beginning. <laughs> Ooh. But anyway, y'all, I'm Miss Tilly like it is. Be yourself, baby. Don't change for nobody. Because you could be no better else. Nobody else better than you can be you. Saying that, baby, I'm just telling it like it is. I told it like it is. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this beautiful day with no stress, no drama. <laughs> and some people, they ask me, they say, how do you look so young, baby, to be your age, to be 50? And I'm like, baby, no damn man. <laughs> No damn man, no stressful man. Because I'm not saying all men are not stressful. All men are not bad men. But, I mean, hey. For Mr. Ladies, I like it how it is, okay? <laughs> hey, different strokes for different folks. Ooh, y'all take care. I'm out. Tulu.